is going on everybody it's your ruby back at it again with you another video and today we got an exciting one today we are going to be doing a video where i go fishing with everything from my brother's tackle box now we are not going to take too much time for the intro we're just going to get straight on in to what is in this tackle box it is right here Ooh, and yeah make sure if you guys are new make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the best crew on youtube and yeah without further ado let's see what is in this tackle box okay guys so we are going to be taking a look at what is in this tackle box right here right now so you guys sadly i can't find a good enough camera angle where you guys can see what's in the box with me but trust me i will show you guys right once i open this up so let's open it open it up okay 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 so first off first thing i see is some bobbers um two different colored bobbers the same size it looks like maybe he fishes with panfish i don't i don't really know so you have some rigged twirl tails they're like a curly tail grub on a jig head those jig heads are probably useful so and then you have a tiny little neon glowfish not too sure why he has that in his tackle box i don't think there's any neon fish where we live but yeah and then you have okay you have some power bait ripple shad here there's one of them sitting right here already on a hook maybe he actually fished with this i don't know it's a pretty cool looking bait. It's like a tiger shad. Never seen tiger shad in our state. I don't know. Okay, let's open the second second section up. Um. Okay, whoa. There's a lot of stuff in here. Alright, we're going to go through this as fast as I can. There's about three of these little... I don't even know what fish this is. Maybe just like a shad? I don't know pretty cool got the little kick tail bow, bow, bow. you have a ton of little creatures here so you have a tiny tiny little worm you got a tiny grub this is like a micro maybe this came as like a kit look at that tail though that's a super detailed shiny tail can you guys hear that okay i'm sorry for that um and then there's just like this must have came as like a micro kit there's like some little creature bugs they're fake obviously and a little i don't even know what that is like a maggot or something uh, okay okay this is a great find he has a old this is like an antique popper toad a popper toad is a top water lure it kicks up the top of the water so you got the hollow body, it's squishy, and then there's a giant hook. <laughs> oh, okay. And then you got the two little feet that just kick as it's going through the water. Okay, so that's a pretty good find. That's probably the best find so f Okay, this one might be a little better. Um, not this one in my hand, but this is some grubs. It's this one, guys. This, holy crap, this is a nice swim bait. So it's just a basic little, sw it's like a nice swim bait, though. So it has, like, it's mainly like a chartreuse, but there's little stripes of black. Sorry, it's, like, really hard to get it to focus in. Oh! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Ah. Okay. So I just fell off my chair. Don't know if that's going to go in the video or not, but either way, I'm embarrassed. Um, but yeah, this is just a little swim bait and it has a really nice jig head. Um, yeah, I'd say this is probably taken the crown for best bait found so far in this taco box, but we what was that? 
we got to get right back into the video. So we have a few more bobbers, all different. <laughs> Look at how tiny his bobber is. <laughs> so yeah, we have a few more bobbers. A few of these seem to be like broken. But I'm going to organize these for him because his is kind of messed up. So he has like probably seven bobbers. And then there's some pieces of terminal tackle. There's weights, treble hooks. Ooh, that's a nice treble hook. I'm going to show it from the top. Nice little treble hook. And then you got a little bullet weight. This is a mini bullet weight. The big ones are like way heavier and bigger. Okay, this I actually remember using once. So the most recent time me and him went fishing, um, I actually used this and I caught a bass. <laughs> Try to film a YouTube video. Sorry, it's on a titan titanium snap swivel. English, Ruby. English. Okay. Now we are going to get into probably what looks like the best part, and that is the bottom of the box. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, we are now back for the bottom, aka last part of the tackle box, where you have some fishing line. Um, don't know what line this is, and I don't really care, to be honest. But we'll get rid of that for him. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is where all this micro stuff that we saw earlier came from. This is like a mini, mini tackle box right here. Super small. And all that's in here is bobbers, jig heads, a few big grubs. I don't know, you guys can't really see, but that's a lot bigger than the ones from before. You have a few beads for uh, trout. Ugh. A few swivels. Oh my god. Oh, um, there's the B. Okay. So yeah, some big grubs, a bunch of different colors of the grubs. There's like the all white. You got the chartreuse. You got this weird looking yellow mustard color. And yeah, so that's basically it for what's in that little tackle kit. Now let's continue on. Looks like a lot of soft plastics. What are these? Oh, these are the smart bait color changing baits. Okay, here they are. You can see that they're kind of stuck at the top. There's like one left in there, one or two. They're just like, okay. Wait, is that what this is? Okay, this is a color changing bait, I guess. What is this hook set up? Okay, this is the color here. Hang on. He hooked this so bad. Uh. Okay. This is the color changing bait. It just looks like a curly tail worm. Nothing special at all. He could probably actually catch fish on this. So if you text this rig this. Well, today's video, I'm going to be trying to catch fish on this. So yeah. Hopefully. He's still going with that. Sorry, but yeah, I could probably catch fish on this, like, no cap, but I don't know what else is in this, so we're going to see what else is in it, and yeah, let's get to it. So we had those color changing baits, okay, we have a, ooh, this looks like a custom bucktail spinner, spinner bait for like trout maybe? So you have the bucktail, which is the furry the the fuzz and then yeah this is definitely a custom bait how did he get this i don't know how we got this but yeah maybe i just gave this to him in my tackle randomly sitting in my tackle because i don't really remember having this though so whoa what the heck there's another custom spinner bait yeah this is definitely a custom one you can tell by the skirt the skirt is definitely custom. Maybe not the rest of the bait, but maybe they just lost their skirt. Because sometimes, like, the ones from Walmart can fall off super easily. Maybe you could, like... 
I think maybe you could take all this fuzz off and then use one of those curly tail worms for like a trailer. Look at that. Okay, I literally just helped him because this was falling apart as we speak. So yeah, this could definitely be useful today as well. We'll come back to that one. We have a stringer for when you catch fish, you stuff this through their gill and they can swim freely if you're gonna do like a, a catching cook type of thing. Why did I hold up like my whole hand? Catch and cook. Okay, we have a little lobster. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I said lobster. Is this a lobster? This is like a crayfish, right? I don't know. <sighs> Today's not my speaking day. Oh! Yo! We have a Rapala crank. I mean... Jerkbait. <laughs> I said crankbait. This is a Rapala, Rapala, Rapala. Whatever floats your boat um jerk bait right here these are like super old this is definitely going to be used today eh, maybe not on my setup i'm only bringing one setup and that's my spinning combo so more finesse stuff like that but yeah this is definitely goes for money i don't know if he's ever used this but yeah it's a pretty cool find and then you got some Big Bite Bait Pro Series. Okay, these are just like, oh, there's one down here. Just like a craw, a crawdad, crawdaddy or something like that. Pretty cool. Okay, we need to go fast. So you have the Big Bite Bait, like a bluegill pattern, swim bait type of, type of thing. Then you have some mm, octopus type of bait. Okay, yeah, you have those, and then you have, ooh, these might work really well for today. We have the Big Bite Bait Senkos, Senkos. Yo! Okay, you have another grub, but that's not what I say yo of. Okay, so real quick, here's the Senko, Senko. I say it Senko, or Sank, Senko. I'm not speaking English today, as we can all tell. So there's a hook right here. I'm I'm probably gonna wacky rig this. Yeah, I'll definitely end up wacky rigging this just like this. And then just bounce it off the bottom. Nice and subtle. Black and blue doesn't go wrong. Okay, this is the thing. I know exactly what this is. Yo. This is a Guggen Squad jig. This is a <laughs> this is a juice jig, and it has one of the craw trailers that we saw earlier on it. This is the Guggen Squad juice jig, juice casting jig. So I actually have the same color. This one is fifth sixteenth ounce, so a little bit bigger than I go. But wow, I got mine from a mystery tackle box. But I don't know where he got his. Maybe he got it from a mystery tackle box too. I don't know. If he does get the mystery tackle boxes, that would honestly explain why he has a lot of the stuff he has. Um. So yeah, just look at that weed guard on there. Like that thing is crazy. Yeah, this will definitely be put to great use today. And that is everything that is in his tackle box. Like... It's pretty crazy. He actually is kind of loaded with tackle. So we are going to get ready. We're going to gear up, rig up our rod. Today we're going to be using our Abu Garcia Cardinal combo. So it's a spinning combo. So we might need to go like that jig. <laughs> um, maybe a Cinco. Probably this swim bait that we saw earlier. And yeah, so I will meet you guys at the spot okay guys what is going on it has been like five hours since i filmed the clip that you guys just saw but i am finally ready to go on the bike ride can't really see it but i have my bike i have the trailer with the tackle box and the rod so we are gonna hit out head 
head out there and yeah i will see you guys at the spot peace okay guys we just rolled up so for that little generator we just rolled up on spot number one a tiny little spillway creek type of thing we are going to fish this place we got the gear gonna get it all ready get all rigged up and i will let you guys know what our first bait will be okay guys so the first step before we do any fishing is to always bandage up any open cuts on your body on your hands because you're touching the water with the bait that you're using so i got my first aid kit right here we are going to bandage up i have super dry skin as you guys can probably tell and a lot of times it breaks open and cuts and stuff so we have a giant freaking bandage here. We are going to literally just tape our hands, and cover our hands in bandage. So yeah, safety is the number one priority out here in R&D TV Adventure Incorporated place thing. So I'm just gonna go over here. We should still be able to cast. If not, we'll put on a pair of gloves. Good as new. And now let's get on to fishing. All right, y'all, so we have our arm, our hand all bandaged up, and we're going to start with the bait that I found interesting. Ooh. Hi. We're going to start with the bait that I found interesting from the second that I saw it. And that is, of course, the Guggen Squad Juice Jig. Now the challenge here today is to try to catch fish on at least three of these lures. I'm going with the Juice Jig. I want to try something different. I'm probably going to do the the topwater toad after this so topwater toad juice jig and i might go something a little bit different i'm sorry you can't see my head i'm trying to tie my fisher's fisherman's knot right now Hold that. Ah, perfect we are ready to get cast in okay so, guys i don't really know if this is private or public but either way if we get kicked out we get kicked out and yeah, today's combo, Abu Garcia, Cardinal Real, Shakespeare, Ugly Stick, 12 pound mono. And we got the juice casting jig. Let's cast it out. Ready? Trying to get a good, okay. Those settings on the reel are not great, but we're gonna live with them. Here we go. Oh, there's a knot in my line, guys. That's fun. Someone was fishing here. There's a fishing lure down there. Okay, guys. We're gonna have to get a little bit further down because right now, I can't cast at all. Oh, there's a carp. There's a carp sitting right there. Wait, is that a carp? Guys, I think there's a carp right here. Okay, there's literally people staring at me, but I don't really care. There's a carp right down here. Come on, you might be. Oh. Is that him? Okay, guys, there's a carp down there. I'm going to drop my um, camera and see if I can get a decent setup so you guys can see this carp. Right there. That's a not holy crap. Is that if that's actually a carp? That's a huge carp. You guys can see it goes all the way down over there to that bridge. I'm gonna try to get a different angle. And yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay guys, so there are definitely fish in here. There's evidence that there's fish in here. There is evidence. I think those are carp sitting right like five or six feet from the bottom. I know this isn't a carp bait, but like, they're in here. No one feeds these people. No one. I just said no one feeds these people. Oh my god. No one probably feeds these fish. So maybe the carp will bite my bait. I'm honestly going for anything, guys. So before you guys ask, I'm going for any species, not just bass. I'm just gonna super chill. So slow, slow cast, and slowly retrieve it. 
but at the same time, I, I would rather have a bass. I don't really know what I would do with a carp. Oh, looking at it, looking at it. Yep. Oh, oh, guys, I think I just had one. Here, okay, now you guys can actually see my face. I think I just had a carp, like for real. Didn't feel like a bass. Yep. Oh, what the frick? What are those? They're big. Whatever they are, they're like actually a nice size. Come on, you big. There's some bike riders over there, so I'm trying to be kind of quiet. Come on. Water's so clear. Like I can literally see. Those are definitely some kind of Okay guys, uh, it's been a while, I'm struggling, haven't fished in a while, so I'm honestly thinking about switching to a topwater, topwater frog, that was in the tackle box, uh, it's hot, it's actually getting hot out here, and it's like 5 o'clock, um, probably do a few more casts and I'll let you guys know when I switch baits, there's carp right there, I'm pretty sure they're carp had a few hits that's what makes me want to keep throwing this but they're just so like hypothermic like they just don't want to move they're just sitting there I, I saw a few move occasionally but yeah we're gonna whoa <laughs> we're gonna do a few more casts and then we will switch yeah, so i really did think that there were carp here i really did think i saw some stuff moving but either way they're not biting so i'm gonna head down a little bit down the trail and we will go to our next spot. Okay guys, so we did make it to our second spot, but it is not what I expected it to be. Um, I don't really know if you guys can see, but it is a bridge and I could just fish off the bridge. You guys would think, but a lot of people are gonna come over here, I'm guessing. So I don't really wanna be over here. Whew, allergies. Um, I'm probably gonna track it back a different way and see what I can find, I guess. A fishing adventure now turned into an adventuring slash fishing adventure. <laughs> so we're going to track it back and we'll see what we can find. Peace. My battery is literally at 4% right now. So I need to do this video fast. So there's not going to be that many clips. Um, we found a juicy little spot. Um, I'm opening the tackle box. I might just have to use one of my own baits really quick, guys. There's some really nice structure over there. I'm going to try a literal grub. <laughs> on a swivel and we'll see how it works i am speechless right now we found this juicy little trout spot and there's a tunnel down there we're not even gonna look at that because that's kind of sketch my phone is literally about to die i'm about to throw some grubs around it's so beautiful out here bro there better be trout if there is i'm gonna flip 
I'm going to fish for a little bit. I'll let you guys know if I catch any. Yeah, guys, there might actually be some upcoming videos here. There's so many night crawlers on this bed. It's honestly crazy. But yeah, stay tuned for some super fire videos. I just fell down. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, right. what is up, guys? Ooh, Lenny. So the last clip you guys probably saw was me falling into the water literally falling into the water well i'm home now and let me just show you guys this so these shoes are normally like a cool gray they are drenched in water same thing with my socks it was just like so unfortunate because i'd never been into that spot and i was like so i had such high hopes and then i just fell and that was like the end of it for me so yeah I know it was supposed to be a video using my brother's tackle box, but I honestly want to post this because this is kind of funny. So yeah, I'm probably going to post this and yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm okay. My knee is kind of scraped up, but I am good. I got out of the hole and yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and stay strong through coronavirus and yeah, peace out.